courtesy of DJ Rage is on the desk. That's how we do right here on hashtag Hip Hop Thursday, every single Thursday right here on Y in the morning. My name is Michelle Ashida. Thank you for staying tuned because right now I am to I'm joined. I am joined by amazing a group of guys who are individually doing amazing work in terms of the artistic aspect of hip hop music. And before further ado, I would like to introduce them. But before that, make sure we keep on the conversation going on our social media handles at Twitter handle, our Twitter handle, we do our Twitter, Twitter handle, it's Y254 channel, our Instagram account, that is Y254 underscore channel, and you can equally follow me and as well send in your requests, comments at Michelle Ashira, it's as simple as that, and DJ, how the king, how can they find you back at home? What are you nyumbani, DJ? at DJ Rage's uh, Mr. Good Vibes, so make sure you equally follow him. He's very much muted right now, but right now I am joined by an amazing group of people who are doing different music, but they fall under the lane of hip-hop music. I'd like them to introduce themselves, starting all the way from our right-hand side. Hey, hello. My name is I Foolish, and I'm, I represent Black Market Records. Hello. Well, my name is Two Piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I uh, represent the gang from K-Town. Two-piece, K-Town, yeah. K-Town represented. Okay. Hey, what's up? My name is Boy Lee. I represent Don Home. Boy Lee representing Don Home. Yeah. Yes. Thank you guys for coming. We're glad to have you back at right here at Y254 channel. And uh, I would like to start off by you guys telling us, people back at home, uh, why hip-hop music and what was hip-hop like when you growing up? Yes, Boyle, you're the one holding okay. the mic, representing. Uh, when I was growing up, I didn't. at first I didn't used to listen to a lot of hip-hop music, okay. at first. But when somebody told me that I should start rapping, he's when I started listening to hip-hop music. All right. Yeah. But it was more fun back then than right now. Because right now it's like, there's not too much hip-hop like there was times back. These days it's just a lot of trap and yeah. Okay, two pieces. Okay, what I can say about hip hop. Okay. Uh, I started hip hop. I, I started hip hop a long time ago, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what, what I can basically say is that uh, hip hop has grown to a certain level, mm -hmm. such that Kenyan artists uh, like Calligraph Jones now uh, he has made it to an international level, and we 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 are trying our best to put the game in another level as as the upcoming artist and we hope that in future we'll uh, reach where we want to be that's true because calligraph has actually introduced a new hip-hop artist in in the in the scene considering that uh, he's known as lamis and he has been in cali cartel before yeah so what's your view on the fact that calligraph is uh, teaming up with youngsters and introducing them into the music scene yet they've not been into the game for the longest period of time ever uh, my view is that uh, he's, do he's, he's doing a very great job by uh, helping uh, other upcoming artists mm -hmm. and uh, also other artists should follow the same l lane okay. Calligraph Jones is using. Mm -hmm. uh, you, find, you find out that uh, we have so many upcoming artists mm -hmm. who have uh, this God-given talent mm -hmm. but uh, they are not exposed out there. All That's right. why we are, we are thanking Y254 as a channel. Yes. for giving us this platform to expose okay uh, what I, yes i love the yeah. fact that you're putting the fact that we ha you get uh, support from kenyan artists and also uh, media houses plus yeah so it all starts from somewhere yeah it, it starts from somewhere okay yeah i foolish yeah what was hip-hop like to you while growing up uh when i was growing up hip-hop was amazing mm -hmm. uh the type of music i was listening to had a message mm -hmm. it was not just about spitting rhymes they had it music had a purpose but right now the music scene has changed mm. people are just rapping okay. yeah they don't have much content in their music mm -hmm. yeah so for you i fall i foolish yeah do you just uh wait before i ask this question is it i foolish or i foolish i foolish why i foolish because at first i was like i foolish <laughs> that i foolish because foolish means something else actually that's yes. an enigma okay because uh I read a quote mm -hmm. by Shakespeare. It says, mm -hmm. "A wise man knows himself to be a fool, okay. but a fool knows him, himself to be wise." So 
So it creates uh, the space for growth. Yeah, it creates the space for growth and uh, like the beauty that. of it, it's yes. an enigma, it's something you don't know about. Mm. Yeah. So for you, do you just uh, venture into hip hop music or are you versatile? Because I'm versatile. Because the last sound of yours, uh, it's more of a love song. Yeah. Yes. Tell so us more about that. I'm versatile because right now, if I feed the Kenyan industry with only hip hop music, mm -hmm. they'll just take me like any other artist okay. but i try to give them a variety of songs mm -hmm. a variety of genres mm -hmm. so that they can relate it's it's not about just doing hip-hop music sometimes it's about doing good music if okay. you do good music people will appreciate if you do work music even if it's hip-hop crank any other genre people will not deal with it that's true i agree and i love the fact that you're not putting yourself in a box you like yeah. to explore more of other different genres of music two piece yeah. the last sound of your music i had it was full of beautiful women and vixen <laughs> i feel like uh, and i love the there's a line that you used uh, that you're not a rapper but you're not how about tishi where we see lotu you're not how about tishi in this yeah game. yeah I, I usually win uh -huh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i just keep on saying it you okay <laughs> So tell us more about this new jam that you just uh, released. So the sound of music. Okay, uh, this this new jam has a message okay. in that uh, uh, I'm trying to pass out a message to people. Okay. In, in that uh, we should leave we should leave aside the baseless critics mm. and focus on those real G's we have out there. Mm -hmm. So like ukwe na mabeste wale wale wako real. Wachane na wale wana wana kulegesha una 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 yeah, haters yeah how my hater yeah yeah but it's all about uh, a positive vibe kitu kaiyo okay so your music is all about positive vibe and not focusing too much on the haters and the you know there's criticism and there's the negative aspect of people just contributing to your music and feeling that they have an opinion towards whatever you are doing in production of your music yeah okay boy Lee. My guy. Yeah, yeah. What's so, up? So, there's this sound of your music. I listen to it, but sadly, we cannot air it on TV. It's called Wild. <laughs> My guy. Yeah. That is so explicit. And then, <laughs> I don't know. Will you even release a video for that song? Yeah. You will? I will. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, you'll watch it on YouTube, not on TV. Okay. Tell me about, you, you have two videos out, which have, you have, you have two, two videos, and an audio which is yet to release, you are yet to release a video, because uh, as I said, it's explicit, but tell us more about your music and your music journey. Oh, okay. Uh... I don't know where to start. Oh, my music, oh, the whole of it, like from the start. No, let's talk about your, the, at the time where you started off producing professionally. Okay, I'm um, I started producing when I was, I uh, know I started recording song. Yes. When I was, when I was in class seven. Class seven. Yeah, so there was this guy, K Wash, shout out K Wash. So that guy, okay, there was a classmate of mine, mm -hmm. my best friend, he was like, yo, I know this neighborhood rapper wants us to, start rapping he wants to create like a a clique of rappers in the hood so uh. i was like hey man i can be a rapper and i was like yeah <laughs> okay so me and the, me and my friends the, we uh, were three okay. so the one called fidel this mm -hmm. one called mitch shout out was it so we went to his place then he played some beats for us so we were like hey okay because it was <laughs> some very complex beat and he was like oh yeah it was that logic guy he used to listen to like some cautious songs conscious so music like, yeah, yeah. Yes. so it was like hey okay we can just try and it's our first time rapping we never rapped before mm -hmm. so we just started uh, writing lyrics and weird lyrics and stuff but we didn't record a song to it but we are mm -hmm. planning on recording it mm -hmm. i'll get them to the studio okay so since then i've been writing music like every day mm -hmm. like in class everywhere everywhere i go even right now in my I have some lyrics in my phone. I mean, right. even take a so you're always 24 right. 7 you're in the zone yeah i'm always in the zone that's okay. that's where my brain is at every time so like I'm just used to writing every time, so I can't say that I have uh, a specific concept of my music or a specific genre because okay. I listen to a lot of music these days, so a lot of ideas come to my mind every time. So I can listen to a Afrobeat and something mm. comes up, I write it down, I go and record it. I also love Afrobeat music, yeah. yes. I can listen to some trap, these days it's trap, so I'm trying right. to fit in, but not too much, I'm just trying to come up with my whole new style. Right. So right now I'm not so so focused on doing what other people are doing, mm -hmm. but creating my own fan base in my own like mm. zone, yeah. 
So you you take a little bit of something from Afro beat, yeah, different genres of music, and just juggle them up and just put and them in one place. And make it yours in yeah. your own way. Yeah. And incorporate your personality into it. So are you under? Are you working under any label? Right? No, I'm not working under any label. I'm a I'm an independent artist right now. Okay, you're an independent artist. So how is it for you? Like when you go to the studio, uh, do does the producer keep? There's there's an aspect of uh, when you're under a record label, the producer tends to feel obligated to ensure like th at the end of it, your product is at, it's dazzling because the name will appear on the production and everything else. But in the other aspect of being an independent uh, artist, there's also an, an ideal ideology that there could be, you know, the fact that I just sell you beats we have already worked with the engineer on your beats. I'm selling you the beats and that's it. Just produce your own music. And if it goes on well, that's well and good. And if it doesn't, it's well and good. Because at the end of the day, I got the money. So it's all cool. So for you, it, how is it the journey being? Okay, so right artist? now, yes. you know, I thank God that I have some very nice friends, man. Like, I have a friend that I, I used to have him in high school. He's my, he used to be my baby. We called him baby. I was like sleeping right here. Then he was sleeping next to me like... He had a bed right next to me. So every, every day we were just planning on how we we're going to take over when you're done with high school and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we were writing music, we were yeah. writing songs, we were just planning on what to do next. So that guy happens to be a producer oh, right now. Okay. And his bro has a studio too. Mm -hmm. So mostly, I have, to, I have to thank God, man, because... I kind of record some of my songs freely, you know. So you improvise. Yeah. You so use what you have. I use what I have. Okay. I, can't, I don't have cash right now, so mm -hmm. I won't go to to these famous producers to produce a song because mm -hmm. I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So what I can do right now is just grow until I get that cash, you know. So uh, that's why I record my friends and stuff. And it's, it's more fun recording with your friend mm -hmm. than somebody else you don't know. Because, because you have to create a rapport with yeah. someone else and uh, yeah. the process. Also, I love the fact that you mentioned the issue of money. Yeah, cash. Yeah. Yes, finances in production of music, two piece. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? Because uh, you have produced a couple of songs and you have amazing videos uh, incorporating video vixens, which is actually additional amount of money to it, additional finances. How is your budget like? How do you budget for uh, a production? Okay. Because uh, Bailey is talking of you improvising what you have. How do you manage and uh, in, under your production and the budget issues of finances? Okay, uh, under issues of finances, uh, what I can really say is that uh, I have these, uh, I have uh, these supportive, supportive friends okay. uh, who usually help me, uh, maybe uh, by, maybe continue. It's the same thing with Boile. There's contribution for uh, fans. The, there's contributions of fans. Okay. And uh, also my mother. My mother usually supports me in this. Wow. Uh, there, there are lots of you mothers. Shout yeah. out to your mom. You should shout yeah. out to her because there's shout lots of parents who support talent <laughs> out there. They believe Sh in education, which is still a good thing, but at the end of the day, talent. Okay. Shout out to your mom. Uh, yes. I know I, I want to thank you. Uh, for helping me since I, I started this music journey and uh, also my brother in Canada uh, Kefa that's big, all the way big up Hope big you're up man. Again. <laughs> and my two brothers also okay and please let me big up uh, them. hey two piece I think we'll do this afterwards right <laughs> oh okay okay <laughs> so we're very hyped up to <laughs> big up people back at home but it's still nice we'll do that after this that's okay. actually making sure that your music plays and people back at home get to hear you and sending your shout out is equally very important True. we're talking about uh, people contributing to your music yeah. and it's the same thing uh, applies from Boili that is you are using people around you people are helping you you're talking about your idea you're approaching them but i have a question this is very i'm very curious how do you approach a friend there are those friends if you tell them that i have an idea or i have this new project coming up and you give away the idea be like uh two piece wherever when you go to someone however you this one you think it will work so how do you deal with the fact that friends and family don't believe in you when you when you approach them for help uh you just prove them wrong okay that's the only only thing I can do. So if they don't support wrong. you, you get to another person who will support you, and yeah. you actually. Uh, uh, if they don't 
support you by now. Yeah. Just prove yourself, then they'll support you later. I love uh, that. I yeah. really do. Because they say that if someone says you can do it, you actually do it twice and take pictures. Yes? True, true. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I foolish. Yeah. So how do you deal with your production in terms of budget? Because young people want to get, they intend to get into the music scene, and this being Y254 channel, and we are promoting young people artists out there and they're looking at finances and the budgeting they go to a producer they, they're asking a huge amount of sum of money in terms of production the audio aspect of it and also the video production aspect of it so how do you deal with your budget uh, i'm lucky enough to be signed in a record label wow finally yeah. we have a signed <laughs> artist okay let's hear your aspect uh, at the angle where you are how oh, things are like uh I'm lucky because I live actually in the same building with our studio. Okay. So if I have any idea, just go up in the studio and I tell the producer, yo, and I have, I need to do this track. How can we do this? Then we go right about it and then we just produce that track. Yeah. So for you, when it comes to writing of your music, uh -huh. are you, the, at what point does it happen? Are you always 24-7 in the zone or... Are you, do you get influenced by what you see, just observing? At what point, or do you just go to the studio, sit down with a notebook and say like, right now I'm going to write a love song and I'm sitting down and you're writing love hip hop songs or anything that's of the sort? Mostly I'm influenced by my experiences and the experiences my friends or any anyone I see around me uh, going through. And then if I feel um, right now like I'm happy, mm -hmm. I'll not do a sad song. Okay. I must do a happy song because that's the energy that I feed into the music is the energy that Definitely. will come out. Yes. If I'm sad and I do, um, I force myself to do a love song, mm -hmm. that means that I'll not feel that beat. And if I don't feel that beat, I'll not kill the beat. All right. And I'll produce a work track, so I just got to stay on toes. Yeah, you said something important there, which is expressing mm -hmm. your emotions at a particular point. Yeah. So as artists, people back at home should not uh, avoid that, the fact that you're feeling, there's a point where emotions are overwhelming and you feel probably I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling so super excited. So this is the right time to put it down on paper, even in anger, well in anger. Yeah. All right, good stuff there. So how long does it take you to write a song? How does it, how long does it take you to write a song? <laughs> but there's a friend of mine yesterday we were talking hey. and he was speaking of, it can take him 30 seconds to write yeah. a song. Yeah. Actually, writing a song just depends on what you want to talk about. When I want to talk about something serious, like mm -hmm. the Ducet incident or an accident some, that happened somewhere or somebody died, okay. I really have to think about it. But when I just want to talk about fun and drop bars and stuff, it's for me, the writing process is the funnest part of my music. Okay. Like, I really love writing music. Yes. The recording part is stressful because you have to repeat it every time, you know. But right. <laughs> so but for you, it takes the shortest period of time to write a jam. Yeah. Okay. And actually, the way I write, mm -hmm. actually, I can give guys a secret. Right. I always write uh, verses. I don't. I don't write the whole song. Wow. So I write okay. a verse today. Uh -huh. Maybe in the evening, I might write another one, mm -hmm. or maybe next week. Then when I get a beat, mm -hmm. that's when I Drop put it. everything together. Yeah. Okay. So in the other in the other verse, I just try and fix some other stuff that I can add. So that you can look like the other one, yeah. Okay, so two pieces. How long does it take you to write uh, your songs? Let's okay. Yes. For me, basically, nature, occurrences, and uh, let's say uh, nature, occurrences, and uh, experiences. They influence this your music. Yeah. Yes. So, like, uh, if I take a walk somewhere, I see something that has happened, or uh, if I've, I've heard about an, a trendy issue, I just put it on paper and. Uh, write a song okay yeah it can take even uh, a week a so. week yeah wow yeah. that's a long that's a long but, but they say uh, something good takes time because you have to put in a different artistic aspect of yeah. your music yeah right so far so good talk me about talk to me about uh so far who among you have been in these performing gigs and how has the reception been uh -huh. Uh, from promoters and everything else, especially if there is a big artist in the name. But let's uh, not look at the big artist. Let's talk to me about uh, any events that you have been involved in in this year, 2019. Uh, this year I've been at Century Lounge. Okay. We performed actually and released tracks. Then people started just standing up. Okay. They were dancing with us. They yes. were like, why don't we see you guys in the TV? Mm -hmm. I'm like, 
Now you're on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to those guys. Yeah, now I'm on TV. Yes. So the reception is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, the problem is most most dope artists are being shelved. They don't get much airplay and then they lose focus because they don't have patience. All right. To be in the music game, you need patience because mm-hmm. me and my whole gang, we've been patient for more than nine years. More than nine so th- years. Uh, uh, until we got the deal. Oh. That's nine years. Mm-hmm. Right now, people look at us making moves and they're like, these guys, how do they make it? They don't understand that we, as a group, we started from the bottom. All we right. didn't have a studio. We had yes. to save to buy the equipments, move one step at a time. We we taught ourselves to shoot videos. Mm-hmm. We shot videos. In the process of doing many songs and um, sharing them, we got noticed. Okay. You know, when you do a track and you post it, mm-hmm. there's someone somewhere always who, who's it. there viewing you. You don't know. Maybe you'll impress someone and uh, they're going to sign you and life is going to be easy. But for that to happen, you need to work hard and you need patience. All right. Yeah. You have mentioned something very important because young people were getting into the music scene and any other industry, as long as you're young, we want it right now. And if it's not right now, right now, right now. Yeah. So the issue of patience, what... Yes, we are patient, right? Because at the end of the day, you have nothing else to do because yeah. you can't do anything. It's not your time yet. But what do you do at the at the moment whereby you're just being patient and nothing is happening, nothing is moving in terms of your music? Mm. What do you do at that aspect, at that p- particular point? At that particular point, yes. you read your books. You read your books? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so let me assume that apart from music, you're doing something else, right? Yeah. Okay. So for you guys... Uh, in 2018, uh, how many events have you been part of? Let's go back to 2018. It's not that far, though. Okay. Yes. Uh, as uh, as as for me, yeah. uh, I usually have many gigs, but uh, uh, I usually get these gigs from my school because most of the time you'll find you're stu- me. You're a student? Yeah, I'm a student. Okay. Why, why, you, t- why, why are you studying? Uh, Mount Kenya University. Mount, which Pika. class? Uh, travel and tourism. Travel and tourism, stroke yeah. artist, yes. Y- yeah. Mm-hmm. So I usually get the platform from my school, and I, 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 I really appreciate mm-hmm. in that uh, we usually get the chance to associate with other the artists who have made it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you, s- as long as you have a platform, just start from somewhere. Yeah, just start from somewhere. Boy, Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tell me about your performances. I haven't started back that in stuff 2018, yet. Back in 2018, 2019, any back. of them. Okay, there was 20... Give me one, know, of before this give me one of your outstanding performances last year. That's the problem. I don't perform yet. You know you started performing? Yeah, you know, where we are right now, yes. you only perform, but they're going to pay you exposure. That's not yeah, going to help me right okay. now, for real. So what I do right now... But don't you think now, like you can take that before you get the real... I used to take that. Guala. <laughs> I used to take that yes. back then. You yeah. know, I didn't just start rapping yesterday or like yes. last year. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, so I, I used to drop songs. But I, I, was, I was in a group. I, I, I used to be in a group. Mm-hmm. So we used to go for shows. Most of the shows weren't paid. All of the shows weren't paid, not most of them. Mm-hmm. Some we didn't even perform until we came to perform freely. Mm. So the struggle. that's just stressful the struggle for me. Is real. Yeah. And I, and you have to keep your mind as an artist. You have to keep your mind on a on a nice place, you know, mm-hmm. because you can't you can't come from being frustrated for the shows mm-hmm. and still sit down to write a dope song. Yeah, that can't work. How do you deal with that? I practice like every time. Like I told you, I write verses like every day. Mm-hmm. So me, instead of being distracted with looking for shows right now, mm-hmm. I have just to focus on my skills and my tracks. That someday somebody will look at my tracks and call me for a show. That's the hope I have right now. So artists, as long as even though you're getting exposure just yeah. as a way of payment, don't just sit there, do something. Yeah, about don't just sit there. You rust, you know. You, you have to keep your skills at par. You know, you might think you're dope right now. Like mm-hmm. like five years from five years back, I used to think I was dope. Mm-hmm. Right now, I can't listen to those songs. I'll be like, yo. <laughs> what were you doing, boy? <laughs> what was I doing, you know? Yes. But right now, mm-hmm. like, I can see my growth. And it's... I, I don't really think about shows right now because, mm-hmm. you know, th- there's a whole new, there's a whole world outside here. You know, we're only thinking about Kenya, but there's a whole world. Okay. So right now, like, for example, right now, I have a song on Spotify, I have a song on iTunes and, and stuff, you know. Okay. Those people don't know about me, but they're playing my songs and I'm expecting to get paid, you yes. know. But here, even a single song, you might get this. Man, I thank God that we got this TV, you know. Yes, because please right talk now to we're them TV. back at home. You know, right, right now we're on TV. Yeah. 
there's some guys out there who have rapped for like 10 years. They've never been on TV. And their skills are, they're even tired of rapping right now. They've started businesses and stuff. But right now we're trying to focus. That's why I have my music on the music platforms and stuff. Because I know my fan base out there is going to grow. Because people in your country won't really appreciate you yes. the way the other people will. Mm -hmm. You know, in the same way that even an artist from Tanzania like Diamond. Yeah. We love that guy here so much, you know. Like, he gets too I much even believe that if he, if he drops a song right now, mm -hmm. two million views will come from Kenya. That's yeah. that is uh, that is true. Yes. Yeah. So like, the reception you have to think about the the big picture. Don't think about don't think in the box. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Don't think just within the box. Yeah. You have to think widely and just focus on building yourself and your you know your skills matter, not mm -hmm. just the shows because you might go to the show but you have a work song. So if you have to go to the show when you some you have something to show for it, you know, mm -hmm. like the other dope artists in the U.S., people blow up because they're dope. They just okay. they don't just blow up because they, you know, yeah. All right. So let's look at. Do you have any new projects coming up? I ha I have a lot of projects, but they're not coming out in this anytime soon because I'm planning on dropping my wild video. It's going yes. to be explicit, mm -hmm. but you can go and check it out on YouTube. I'm Boy Lee. My name, I think, has been written on the screen or somewhere. <laughs> yes, so you can go to YouTube have. and check it out. You can see everything I've been doing. I've okay. been working, by the way. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't have too much subscribers. There are hundred, there are 188 that I have, man. I thank you. Because those guys go and check it out, you know. Okay, but and we'll see you comments. shining. Yes, we're waiting <laughs> on that explicit video yeah, from the song check it Wild, out. which is on YouTube. Let's hear from Two Piece. Do you have any new projects coming up? Okay, uh, I have new projects coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Big Up Moyaka. I'm doing uh I'm doing a a collab with him. Oh, and shout out to him. Yeah. Yes. And uh from uh I'm supposed to do uh a collab with uh K Green K from Green. All right. ADF family if you know the mm -hmm. the the show up family, yeah. You guys are busy. Yes, I foolish. Yeah, I have an album dropping uh February. We are looking 13. forward to what's that. And make yeah. sure you come here, come back here and <laughs> drop it right I here. Have, yeah. I've okay. featured Capella, Kiki. Wow, we're yeah, waiting I for have that. some artists. Yes. Uh, yeah, it will the the album will be on all music platforms, title, mm. everything. Then if you want to find my music, you can go up on YouTube, I Foolish Vivo. Mm -hmm. You'll find all my music. Uh, I'll be dropping a track, a video for lunchtime cipher volume one. Okay. Uh, maybe today or tomorrow. I'm not so sure about that. All right. Yeah. And then I have a seven track EP that okay. I'll also drop, I think, February. Or I'll just let you <laughs> enjoy the album first and drop it in March. We're uh, definitely looking forward yeah. towards the album. You talk of uh, releasing it on February. Yeah. This year. Yeah, this definitely. year. Definitely. We are looking forward towards that. So I foolish, make sure you drop it right here on hashtag Hip Hop Thursday on Y in the morning. So I'll let you guys give out your social media handles that is on Instagram and other social media handles so be, but before that you'll drop some lines introduce introduce yourself and a little bit of something you know snippet flow buzz and everything else and then you give all your social media handles then we'll play your music okay yeah all she want is attention why you selfish on affection why you hitting up a dm say you love her but still you know you would shit bro yeah your chick she got a me cause desperate niggas in the friend zone she's the lawyer she not cheat bro body figure she a 10 bra Ooh, but you keep on sipping and drinking in love with the liquor forgetting her feelings get in the paper you acting so freaky you cannot remember her love you just tripping she making sound for you cooking dinner while you out in the club blowing the money and getting her jobs getting her home you just give her some blows okay two piece cheer, cheer. yes uh, two piece na bring it back kama octo Nili cheza chini siku wa msoto Walio dhani ni melos niko chonjo Sibatishi ka hama rapa wa loto My dream is to rap na si ondoto I'll be so generous on my lyrics And I'll be shooting on these niggas if they try me Okay, huwezi kuni judge But ili kwa loni ka recharge Sai ni kikam show zenu na wacharge bila graj Shout out to my friends and my mom Yeah, yeah that is two piece for you boy Lee Yeah Look, see as you saw them Ziki, that's the only thing I'm good at. See so you're pretty girl, you know I always to Paluga. I'm betting on these niggas and I always wake a Kichwa. The gang is dropping albums, we a bunch of clumsy niggas, let them know. Na pata ganji, but you know na suck em more. Mutani don't need rap before ufiki o more. We bantu niggas, see lazim and semi uko. I can't sell my soul it in the only part of dough. I used to umba masa dough. 
Same case with auntie every time she pick my call. Shoshu ni kanja ni kishia usha go. I have some mass and don't join M Globo. Mziki janza kulete dough, man. Mziki janza kulete dough. Stop asking me for dough, oh, okay. oh. Na cheki ni kisaka job sasa. I'm hustling harder than before, yeah. Hustling harder than before. That was an amazing team right here on hashtag Hip Hop Thursday on Wa in the morning. Thank you for watching. And definitely don't go away. New music coming up from none other than the DJ on the decks, our residential DJ, DJ Regis, the guy who gives you good vibes all the way. So make sure you stay tuned because Carol will be coming up with another interview.